Samoa, the ship it out from Tonga. Bring it on. Samoa, old foes, old friends, no love lost, a real quarter-final in prospect, let's have a look at the teams, Tonga as you might expect are packed to the rafters with Bulk and Ballas, Jason Tamalolo, and Infanua Blake, Maruka Fotowaika, that is a pack to test any. As for Samoa, well, they tip the scales pretty hardly too. Jason pa uh, Junior Paolo, sorry, and uh, Royce Hunt, the two front rowers. Plenty of skill in the halves too. Anthony Milford and Jerome Luai are the brains trust. Joseph Sawili is a danger from backfield. Referee for this one, Ashley Klein. Whether he has a job to do or not this afternoon might just depend on how ferocious this gets. And my anticipation 
It's going to get pretty ferocious indeed. Ben Thaler is in the video ref truck. And he will have the final say on a few integral decisions, no doubt, this afternoon. So a moment of togetherness, which uh, kind of jars with the rivalry we've had here. Brilliant cultural performances, really setting the tone. This 2021 Rugby League World Cup has a moment of togetherness, applause around the ground in support of the venture. But very soon, this whistle will sound and there'll be anything put together in us out there. A place in the semi-finals up for grabs. It's Tonga against Samoa. Joseph Suili launches it downfield and Tonga will get first dibs of the ball. Alongside me this afternoon, Matt Newsom, Tip former move. Wales and Great Britain International, Jonathan Davis, wait, former wait, England coach, John wait. Keir. Gentlemen, the tone has been set. Well and truly. Yeah, it was absolutely fantastic, wasn't it? The build up to this game. And uh, I don't think they'll let us down in the next 80 minutes. Very, very important that this highly physical battle, whoever comes on top of that, will allow their three quarters to play. So the, the battle up the middle is absolutely vital. Yeah, what an intense start. You know, absolutely crazy, crazy intensity by both sides. And this will be very, very tasty. So here come Tonga. Havili jumping out of acting half. Last tackle here for the Mate Martonga. Lola here with the kick. Wants to deal with it at the back for Sue Lee here. He got plenty of cover as he took that one in. And uh, in terms of kick return meters, nobody's had better. 332 in this tournament so far. Not a player you'd generally aim to kick to, gents. No, but the fact is they'll be delighted, Tonga, with that first set. They took the ball forward. Pretty low risk with a good end, and now the challenge is uh, how do Samoa cope with this aggressive Tongan defence? Yeah, two sledgehammers being swung at each other at the moment as those big packs seek to find ascendancy. Levi into Suili, who pops in a little bit of footwork there. Vanua Blake and Tamalolo with the tackle. Levi keeps it moving to Milford. Airborne, one for Tupo. Or should I say over on that far side, it was uh, Kotoru who took that one in. And again, you know, they make easy yardage on both these sides, you know, there's a great position for the kicker. Look where they are, deep in the in the 20 meter area and work outside. And that's that's the first mistake. And that's this will give now, although it's in the you know deep into the Tongan half, this will give them great field position for their first opportunity of the afternoon. Yeah, very much, Jonathan. You you expect it very much to be an arm wrestle early on set for set well uh, Samoa with their eagerness have just allowed Tonga upfield to start with the ball in midfield so it uh, be interesting to see how Samoa cope with what Tonga throw at them Kaloa Matangi Royce move tangling with Samoa straight away Royce Go Avili on, mate. Kafusi's turn this time Royce move looking to soften up that middle back here wait Avili busy Tamalolo, route one stuff from Tonga here. Release now, Lee. Bang, bang, bang. In these first three carries of the set. Havili, now Lola here, short ball onto Colin Matangi. Almost away, he is away. Oh, the ball comes loose. Obstruction. Yeah, he went round the back yeah, of him, he, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Just got a, the timing wrong. All right, there's your mark, go past. You can see what they're trying to do there, they'll try to isolate four men in defence and then the fullback was swinging late just to create a 5v4 situation but just not executed well enough uh, by the Tongan team. That Parish's side have picked themselves up off the canvas after that opening game defeat by England. Find themselves in a quarter final here, Milford onto Paolo. Oh, at the back a little bit loose as Crichton recycles. Yeah, they've been disappointed with their first performance against England. I thought they were disappointing, but you know, they've come off a grand final with a lot of Penrith players. And I think England didn't allow them to play that day. Well, it was certainly a wake-up call and they appear to have roused themselves since. Taken in by Hunt. It was a meeting of minds and physical bodies that time. Shudder in contact. Midway inside the Tonga half here. Milford. Short ball on the through. Super break. Tonga hit the front. 
by Samoa here in the front. Super try, Jaden Tua. He's just sliced Tonga open. And Samoa have the lead. Beautiful play, beautiful play. Just first attack for Samoa. Milford it is, takes the ball to the line and just picks the right pass. Just beautiful angle by this guy, Sua. Absolutely cut them to pieces, coming back against the grain. Yeah, well, they took full advantage of the penalty, but this is great shape oh. and a great line of run there. It really did pick out to Katoa there, the young halfback who's at the Dolphins next year. And he just bounced onto his inside shoulder and bet the fullback with ease. What an outstanding uh, try there from Jaden Sua. I think the repetition of Sua Lee, the full back, you know, he just came on the outside arc of the back and took the eye line of the defender there. And he just allowed that gap on the inside shoulder. Brilliant play, variety. He thought he was going out the back. Brilliant angle. What a start. So Stephen Crichton with the simplest of goal attempts here. Bang in front. And Tonga find themselves four points down, could be six. Flying start from Samoa then. They strike first. And Stephen Crichton, part of that Penrith contingent that won back to back grand finals in the NRL. Just pops it over. What a start for Samoa. Just in the six gone and they have the lead. Yeah, fantastic start, wasn't it? Great execution there of, of a play that will have done time after time on the training ground. But the most important thing, this Samoan side took full advantage of that error, that penalty whilst in possession of the Tongan team. It's a great angle, that is all. What an angle. So Jerome Luai feels the restart, Paolo sucks it under his wing and he thumps into contact. We're going to see hits like that all afternoon. Barreling forward. Tyler May. Pass the line, Adam Wade. Outside backs trying to spring forth here. Hunt again. Been busy in these early stages. Police release! For this Samoa three. side. Wait, Levi. Finds Milford. Already opened the door with one slick little pass, and it's uh, the try scorer, Jaden Sewer. Okay, Folded like up you. just short of Wait, halfway. Jayden, let go of it. Play the ball. Tackle four. And they have to play that again here. Four. Here comes Sewer Lee. Not afraid of getting his hands four. on the ball, is he? Well, well the decision's gone against Samoa here. And well, this is Samoa giving a penalty away in possession and it's for leading with the with the knee, I believe. Yeah, I think a, a bang on the head, he stopped it for a head injury, I think he has. Oh, just leads with the knee maybe and yep. just cops Kafusi. That's why he was stopped. And he's on report for leading. You can't lift it up on that contact well, <laughs> And, and again, Jonathan, it's whilst in possession, isn't it? Yeah, I know, that's a mistake. It's, it's criminal giving a penalty away when you've got the ball in hand. But that's why he makes so much meat, does he? doesn't wait for the ball to come to him. He kind of gets involved in every set, you know, wherever it is on the field. He's always there. On the line, guys! So, Tonga with a chance to examine this Samoa line. Kafusi rattles in. Set themselves a point here. Winding up now with Fanua Blake. Hey! Edging closer. Release. Every carry. Chalking up the meters. Katoa. How the back it goes to Hobuate. What a ball that is. What a finish that is. Daniel Tupo. Tonga turn up the heat. What a reply. Well, we spoke about uh, setting points so that you split the defence, six on one side, four on the other. They attacked where the four Samoan defenders were, and the fullback once again swung late, and he came up with it, but it's this penalty that gave the field position, and both times that Fields is given away, they've taken advantage. See there, four defenders, they suck the third defender in Milford, and then it's a superb long pass to, to Daniel Tupu, who's been finishing tries like that for years. He comes in as an extra man, it's a bit of a take. What the take that is though. Brilliant finish. He's a tremendous player, NRL. He's been there for a long time with the Roosters. 
beautiful take. What a pass again. The extra man, the combination, 6-7 and 1, creates the oval up on the left-hand side. And he picks the right pass up, but what a take and a finish. What a start. And again, how, how important. We've always stressed throughout this tournament, you know, and it'll get even more important now. Discipline to give field position. You can't afford to give these top-class sides opportunities, especially, John, as you said, when they had the ball. So Isaiah Katoa with a tough kick from the sideline. Dolphins bound in 2023. Another of that Penrith Club's products who have really impressed. As he looks to slot this one over, but it's a toughie. Right out on the touchline. And he would square things up here. After a hammer and tongs. Opening 10 minutes. So Isaiah Katoa launches it. No good. But Tonga in the game. Christian Wolf will have uh, been satisfied by that one. Yeah, it's superb play, isn't it? You see the far man, but the full back of Poati. It's a cracking pass, but what, what wing play from uh, from Tupo. He's held his chalk, he's held his width, and he just reeled that in without breaking stride. But also, what you know is that the, the dummy runners, you know, they run such great lines, they can miss defenders, you make the wrong choice, and you pay the penalty. Well, you have to feel a little bit for uh, Tessie New. Hat trick last time out, but overlooked in favour of Hopawate and Christian Wolf. He knows what he's doing, doesn't he? He's, he's coming and made an immediate impact. So Fotowaika plowing forward as Tonga do Kafusi. He's a great forward, Kafusi, isn't he? Yeah, really mobile, really good footwork. Tamalolo, quite the opposite, just a battering ram. Oh, six again, another poor discipline. But the challenges, don't they, Jonathan, this yeah. Tongan team, because they carry so aggressively and so the challenger work within the contact and wrestle area. What a wake up. Oh, it's really good. Leg drive from him. They are just pumping the legs and marching Samoa back here. Hopawate. Two that time by Stephen Crichton. Yeah. Great defensive breed. He done it once to me, not doing it again, mate. <laughs> Scurrying forward. Within 10 here, Tonga. Actually into a decent area here, Tamalolo. That was a bit of uh, subtlety in the footwork. Last one here. In range. Katoa. Tupo's going to leap for this one. Tupo gets it all. Daniel Tupo almost. What out of the back catalogue there from him. Well, I'll tell you. The signal to Samoa, one of their tactics there. And why not when you're so tall, you've got such athletic ability to leap and is great in there. But Ferdu Sabrain Toho, he challenged him and put him under pressure. But that will happen time and time again, Jonathan. They're two great wingers there. You know, if you watch the NRL, they always put it up for Tupo. He is so tall and he's so great in the air. You're right, John, we'll see that again. So will he for this Samoa side. Jason Moon! At the narrowest of margins Moon. after 12 minutes. Toto. Seen his defensive work. And he can chew up the yardage as well. And he can finish too. Devastating combination. Hunt. Here for this Samoa team. They've got the ballast. They've got the quality out the back. And in Milford, they have got a general, but it's a uh, kick that's easily fielded at the back by Hopawate and Tonga will return this with the real venom. Katoa. Here comes Tupo. They're doing the other part of his job there, isn't it? Brilliant. Bringing the ball out from his own end. Not only great finisher and challenger for the kick, but also very good in backfield. Kofusi just yeah. keeps on coming, doesn't he? Offload. Offload. Oh, lovely offload, and Moses Suli is away, and he steams straight into that Samoa line. 
Tonga. You know what Tonga are doing here? They're going to just keep running and running and running. Oh, a blind pass into touch. Well, he just he just forgot that Tupu had just done a big, big ball yeah. carry. He thought he was there. They created the over. Quick play the ball as well. Unfortunately, he just hadn't got there. That's a play the ball. But once they get a quick rub, they play on the front foot, don't they? They're happy to play on the front foot, yeah. try and strip numbers, but uh, as you've rightly identified, Jonathan, you can't carry the ball the no. previous play and then get in position. No. Well, we knew this would be a slugfest. We knew that these two teams would go after each other with uh, no holds barred, and it's spinning that way. Run away, Okay, two. Can you Bragging rights, semi-final place up for grabs. But at the moment, Samoa have Make the narrow Make advantage here. Place back, 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 back. in the semi-finals of the World Cup against England, who will be watching on, okay. enjoying this, seeing the uh, two potential opponents smashing each other. Play on six more. Here goes Royce Hunt. Tackle cow has been reset oh, as well. Zero again. Okay, zero. I think he played at the ball there, the Tongan player, but they are examining the middle unit of this Tongan, Tongan defence because, yes, it's a strength, but also because the big men, you can work them over and tire them out. So Willie, he takes it into the line. Now they're in range. You're milking. You're milking. Setting up for something here. Milford plays at the light to Hunt. Oh, it was a crash ball attempt. No look ball. Back foot. Back foot. Ten away. Tonga under duress here. Milford, oh. short ball. Great tackle. <laughs> Linky Sal. <Avili. laughs> Packaged up that time. Police. Luai. Now Paolo. Bit of a pirouette from him. The big man showing nimble feet. Last tackle, get up, please. It's a big play, this kick right, play. Right Luai, oh, he rolls the crubber through. Well taken by Hopawate at the back. That's quality fullback play, isn't it? He positioned him out perfectly just on the inside of the kicker, so when he dabbed it through, he was there in position. And once again, two posts going there. Oh, what's he done there? He's thrown just a, a loose pass. Puts himself under pressure. Two out. He thought maybe he's going over the touchline. Just threw a wild pass. Puts Tonga under pressure again. Just watch. Tries to carry the ball out. They've got him up, they're dragging him. Throws a loose pass. He was he had plenty of time to go before the, the touch line. I would say it's a long way. Yeah, a long from way touch, to go. Yeah, if it was. But again, you can see it. He makes so the yard so so easy. Every time there's a, you know a restart, the reset, he's going to put himself under pressure. That was Suli saving the day that time. Drop out, dribbles into the hands of Suli here. Now Paolo will wind up here. This game, Matt, is not I'm disappointing. No. There, there is some collision in, in, out there. There really is. Royce Hunt, not for the first time, Police trying to plunder some yards from this Tonga team. Levi into Oregon Kafusi. Almost poked his nose through that time. But Samara setting themselves a strong position here. Levi jumping out of acting half. Turns it back on the inside for Sua. He's already got one try. Just held out here. Samoa breathing down Tonga's necks. Milford, Luai. Oh, he's written the challenge. Jerome Luai. Oh, what a step, what a try. Samoa extend the lead. And Jerome Luai, their playmaker supreme, has delivered a huge score. Yeah, an outstanding piece of individual play there from that man, uh, Jerome Luai. But once again, we've got to go back to the error from Tupu. Yep. It was that that gave some more the fit. And as you've rightly pointed out previously, uh, Jonathan, you cannot give field position to quality players. Nope. And that's a needless offload. The needless offload has given Samoa that field position. And then late in the tackle count, this guy he looked to try to close him down. But just look at the footwork there against some of the bigger players of the uh, of Tonga on the inside. Just watch Penasini comes up. He knows the danger, man. He doesn't make the tackle. And unfortunately, he's got great feet and balance. Spots the opening and he's away. He comes in. Just watch. Penasini comes up. He's made the choice. He's got to nail him. Defenders are over, over reading the situation. They've gone too far. He cuts back against the grain. Brilliant finish again. And the Shomar fans are waving their flags with glee as Crichton 
Looks to tack on the two here. <coughs> They're the biggest difference for me at the moment, uh, lads, are the one, the, the combination of Samoa halfbacks. You know, Milford and Luai are brilliant players, individual players. Against England, they didn't perform. Today, you can see them communicating and organising, and they're playing so well together as a pair at the moment. Crichton with the kick. The corner to that point in just a moment. Stephen Crichton pops it over. Eight point lead for Samoa. And when you're playing on the back of the, the pack that they've got, Jonathan, that gives you, John, that gives you the field position to, to, to weave your magic. Oh, really, it does. I mean, Milford's had an assist, putting the, the, the second roller through with Jaden Sewer. And then this man has just come up with a fantastic... He's known throughout the NRL for his ability to take the defensive line on. And that's the reason why his footwork is absolutely sensational. Oh. Uh, oh, it's another shuddering collision, isn't it? As, uh, uh, Roy Sunk came off the back fence that time. Drilled up again. Samoa scattering defenders and then a smart offload. A bit of second phase here for Danny Levi, who had a fine season with Huddersfield. Opted to return to the Southern Hemisphere this winter. Blasting forward again through Oregon, Kafushi that time. Paolo, Milford. Some shape opening up here, maybe for Crichton. Good tackle from Suli, just tossed him to the floor. Paolo again, looking on an edge. And look where they are already. You know, last tackle, deep inside the Tongan half. Easy yardage. Last one here, Luai. Push that kick in the corner. There's a bit of a cordon there for Will Hopawate, but again, Samoa marching Tonga downfield and making them play out from their own end. I don't think either team are having problems getting the yards from uh, bringing it from their own end. But it's the ones who are showing the... the it's the edit count that's doing yeah. it, to tell the truth. Yeah. I think one thing, maybe the line speed could improve on both yep, sides. Yep. The line speed. Yeah, three hours all Tongan. Nothing from Samoa have been squeaky clean so far. Lola here, ran himself down a bit of a cul-de-sac. And then almost split the line. Oh, and then the ball comes loose, and uh, Ashley Clare's yeah. got no problem with that. Play I'm, on. I think that's the right call. I think Lullahaya was milking it, trying to go for the penalty and just let the ball drop. Yeah, and he, he can't challenge it as a captain challenge because the play's got to be stopped. Oh, yeah. But uh, I'm, so, I'm with you, yeah. He released his arms, didn't he, to, to get the, uh, the penalty. Well, it hasn't worked out, and once again in midfield, this Simone team. On the back of Lingy Sars carry, Paolo dropped off that time by Milford. Samoa stalking forward here. Showing real promise. Milford, oh, it's a little chip and chain, almost slip field his hands. And he's allowed to continue here. Jason Tamalolo. Yeah, that was, you know, that was another tactic. You know, they check where the full back was, but an early kick, kick and chase just got charged down. Well, I, that's the first thing I did, John, to look for the full back. And he was, yeah. was in position, so uh, a bit of a surprise. But once again, the ball hits the ground when Tonga have got the ball. Yeah, Moses Suli with an orthodox offload, but he gets away with it that time. Harvili takes control at the rook. And Tonga motoring forward here. Adding for Noah Blake. No shortage of meters when he's around. A real ding-dong affair, this one. Two fierce Polynesian rivals. Katoa, oh, at the back to Hobawate, bowing it from Lapai. Great season, Tim Lapai's had. Great read, great defensive read. But he, Jonathan, as you rightly said, he came up with the player as well. If you jam like that, you've got to come up with man and ball. Tonga didn't, Samoa are doing. Last one here for Tonga. Lola Hairs, the orchestrator with the last tackle play. Into the corner, patted back by Katoa. He's been allowed to bounce, and Jerome Luai just about dives on the grenade. Turn yeah. over ball. Knock on. Again, you can see the ploy. Stick it up in a corner. Yeah, definitely knock on. That's better defence. Yeah. Watch a wagon in miss with that one. Made a change. Royce Hunt is off. And Josh Pabali is on. And it won't be long before he gets his first taste of action. And here he is. 
the big Canberra Raiders front rower. Played for Australia, but committed to the Samoan cause. One of those many heritage players who put their hand up. Kafusi was rocked there in the tackle. Somehow kept hold of the ball, but Fatuaika is, is hunting at the moment, isn't he? Yeah, He's working from, another involvement. Yeah, working from Marco. That's a great offload as well. But the second phase here. Jaden Sewer. Brian Toto, we haven't seen too much of him as a, a tiptoeing wizard, but an opportunity for him now, and what a carry that is! Now he's got Papali into the action, Milford, oh, he ran into a bit of traffic there. Help! Another offload has been poached, oh, we'll go back, we'll go back. Yeah, there's someone in back play. Yeah, I think it's a head class. Yeah. I'm off on the last tackle, Anthony, he'll play the ball. It's Harvili who's feeling the effects, isn't it? Sevilla Harvili, the hooker. Oh, he's got to stop the game. Yes, yeah, uh, when the carry with Toho, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, he just gets his head on the wrong side. Yeah. Just watch it. Any young kid watching, he just gets his head on the wrong side of the tackle. Just as he comes back in here, Leeds, just watch him, comes across. I mean, he's just going to come into shot now, number nine, watch. That's it, gets his head in the wrong place, in front of the legs, and he coughs him. Yeah, I think he's going off for a head injury assessment, the doctor's there with him. Well, he has to. And rightly so. 16 tackles in 24 minutes, so he's, uh, he's certainly putting himself about. Yeah, certain brand of battery might be borrowing him for one of their adverts, so... Uh, the change is on, Sonny Luke is on. The hooker. Where, the, where Jason is? Enjoyed a profitable afternoon against the Cook Islands. Two try assists. Hoops kick from Luai. Underneath it, Tupo. He leaps to the air. It's come loose. Here's Oregon Kafusi. Desperate tackle in the end from Tonga. They're in trouble now at Tonga. So Alihi plays short to Papalihi. Off on a maraud of his own here. Papalihi. Oh, so close. How false it was it with a try saver there. They are clinging on the precipice here. So Sueli so got the pass wrong. It's oh, been half side offside. Into touch and they're offside. Yeah, well, wow. breathless fair. <laughs> yeah, well, they'll be happy with that, Tonga, though. Still under pressure now, though, John. Yeah, but they were all over the shop. All over they? the shop, yeah. I think I like it. There wasn't a call. This is a great, it's a great up and under. It's just going away, drifting away. And I think it was young Katoa, the, uh, yeah. the halfback, yeah. who, who got in Tupu's way, really, and uh, lack of communication. Okay, but it's a set of six on your own line as the result of it. Look at the Wait, error count there. Seven Tongan errors. That may well account for the scoreboard. Trying to move the ball around here with uh, Pabalihi. Paolo moving it on quickly, not allowing defenders to set. Levi. Samara throwing the kitchen sink here. Luai out the back. On to Lafay. Lafay powering towards the line. Time to get the bodies in. Plenty. That's first tackle. They're jammed in on this left hand side. Back to Luai. Now Milford. Dropped off into Paolo. What an assault Not this good. is from Tonga, from Samoa, sorry. Milford with the step. Oh, desperately clung on. Kanua Blake standing in his way. Levi from acting half. Oh, marker. Six another, again. Another set of six, yeah. Tonga again torched here. Milford to Luai. Suwalihi. Suwalihi. Oh, what a tackle. tackle. Oh. What a tackle that is. Oh. They are chucking everything at them here. Shape. Size. Oh. Kafusi spills it. That is a huge, huge relief for Tonga. They were certainly under the cosh. And you can see how they're celebrating. Yeah. They know they've got away with one there. That was magnificent defence, so if, if Tonga win this game, you know, Jonathan, yeah. we may well look back upon that set of six as the one that turned it, because they were really having to work so hard, and it came down to this first error that uh, Samoa have made with ball in hand. This is a tackle. He is such a runner. So he, a and what a tackle that is. David Fafita looking on there. I think he'd be itching to get on the field. We thought he was in there, didn't we? Yeah. So Tonga, Samoa's first there at Tonga, have been under duress, but they've got a chance here to lead the breakout, although Katoa was clubbed. Luke, 
Kofushi runs into Milford who puts the shot in. Two of the half-backs, some one half-backs today, right? They have gone up a couple of gears from the first game. Yeah, 11 tackles for Milford. Oh, who's been really busy and he's 69 metres as well, so no slouch at all. Luke onto Tamalola. Now Lola here, spacing behind. Surely he just gallops after it and gets a kindly bounce. He'll be happy with that though, the Tongan team, because it's bought them some uh, some field position and uh, uh, although it was a tackle for a kick, the lo he loves to kick off shape just to Ilola he. Oh, what a carry. <laughs> and this is oh, some defence as well. Mate. It was just total lack of regard for his own personal safety. Lafay's turn. Great offload again. So they've got the tails up now, Samoa. But that, that's what's doing them, I yes, think, Jonathan. Definitely. This offload game from Samoa is really first class. And also, I just say, we all know how big these you know, Tongan players are, right? That will tire them out. Marty Tapao is on. So we'll go for the play here. Sua. Down this right edge, last tackle here for Samoa. Sharon is going to send one up. Tester at the back here, it comes down a little shallow. Patted back by Lafay, Josh Papali with the kick. Tyler May was it taken out by Katoa. It was ball and oil and everything there. Magnificent. My word, what a good kick that was from the prop bob, but what a recovery by Sione Katoa. That was unbelievable. I, I, again, Jonathan, I thought they were in. Yeah, great thinking again by the prop, you know, but just didn't have the touch just to put it into the in goal. But what great defence as well. Those up and unders are really causing problems for the, the Tongan back three. What marvellous skill Brilliant. that is. To, 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 to get a, a bouncing ball, when you've got two Samoans coming round you as well, and to reel it in, that really is a four-point saver. They are hanging on you at the moment. They are hanging on. They need a break, Tonga. Tell you who else needs a break. It's great. It's great. It's great. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, Matt. Yeah, look, we just sat here with got the Tongan hull the rest of the squad on our left, the Tongan fans on the right, and they are living every single play here. You know, that... Over on the far side as well, we've been told that there's some fans who have just flown in from America to watch the Tongan team and they've certainly got behind them and they've needed to there, as they've just seen out that awful amount of pressure there from Samoa on their line. Yeah, real duress, Tamalolo, almost through. Half break from him as he was just stretching oh, the away. Big six again, good run by Tamalolo, another yeah. reset. Yeah, punishing, and they've got uh, Siwa Takiaho on as well, just to offer a, an extra bit of punch. Inside that 20 now, Sonny Luke. Kaloa Matangi. Now they can almost stretch out and touch the line from here, Tonga. A try right now would be a godsend. Oh, what a shot! Milford again! Milford again! <laughs> This is a halfback, by the way. Fantastic. Fantastic to get out of the way of this stuff. Luke finds Tokiaho. Now Lollahea. Rolls the kick in. Will chase it himself, Suali, he says. Back that behind and will take the drop out. That's good play from Lollahea, and it really is, because that, that's what they need, Tonga. They need to spend some time down in the in the Samo deep in the Samoan half. And again, he's taking the ball at the defensive line, just toe pokes it through, and the fullback so highly. I'm not sure about that play, John, because it's too early in the tackle count. They haven't had a lot of possession, right? And I'm thinking the difference at the moment is that the Samoan halfbacks are working as a combination, whereas the Tongan halfbacks are, are working as individuals. Drop out almost to halfway. It's taken in by Hoboate. Torquiaho will be playing at the Catalan Dragons next season. Gets a chance to motor forth. And here comes the newly introduced Ben Murdoch Masilla. Back on uh, familiar soil here with his Tonga Come team. On, well, well, this is one where the interchangers really have got to make their presence felt. Yeah. Up to the 10 they go now, Katoa gets it away, Suli. Oh, he was ankle tapped there by Crichton. But Tonga threatening. So many options, so many ball runners. Tamalolo has to take that high and he's tackled low. Yeah, it's a poor pass there. Take all the momentum out of that uh, movement. Look for acting half, short ball for Murdo Basila. Oh, he'd love to score here, ex Warrington, back row up. One last tackle in the set. Luke from Acton Harbour, he's rolled in the kick, Tokio! Great kick, great try, Tonga back in the game. Yep. 
spend time in that area of the field and ultimately you get reward. And that's a superb piece of play from uh, the replacement hooker, Sony Lou. A beautiful piece of play for the big prop forward to cross for his first try. Thank you, brilliant read, good communication, little depth kick. Good communication between the front rowers, brilliant, brilliant play. Well, if you get a kick like that, Jonathan, you've got to be on side because it's the dummy half kicking yeah, it. Yeah. And he threads it through the eye of the needle. And again, some snuff. You know, a great amount of skill once again to reel it in and plonk it down. It's got to be a good skill here because, you know, if you look at the in goal area, it's a very short in goal. Beautiful touch. And they're back in it. And he used the post pad almost as a, yeah. an extra blocker, didn't he? Is he? But again, you can't, route through. you can't afford, you know, it's a reset again. So important. I think it's a brilliant rule, OK? But you can't afford to do it. You've got to keep your discipline. Yeah, you'd almost rather get back, get your line set, than the cough of another six again and risk incurring the wrath job. Well, I, yeah, I just thought the Tonga have grown into this. The, the replacements have made an impression. Huge. No doubt about that. They bought that field position, and ultimately that field position has resulted in uh, four, and I would hasten to add it'll probably be six. So the game on once again. It's not disappointing, this game. No, you know, it's, it's flow. It's 33 minutes gone, it's absolutely flow, but, you know, the size of these boys, you just can't afford to spend too much time in your own 20-meter area. Something is going to give. They are so big and powerful running at you. So Katoa from in front of the posts. Well, we saw a real humding at a hull last night in New Zealand against Fiji, where Fiji will feel cruelly done by as the Kiwis marched on to the semi-finals. It looks like we're going to get a similar game here. Two points in it, headed towards the break. Siwa Tokiaho with a telling score. Yeah, well, it was one replacement who put the kick in. The other replacement dotted the ball down. And that's what you need from your interchange bench. Impact. Yeah. So, Sualehi back at the middle. The ebb and flow of this quarter final with a swirling, spinning kick which pitches up kindly for Will Pellicini in the end, but had all variations of fortune there, didn't he? Bouncing rugby ball. Oh, I'm a tanky. Not he's shied away from the top player stop. He is. He's a very good player. He's got hands prior to the line. He's got an offload, and he'll cart the ball up if required. Tokiaho slugs it out right. <laughs> Bit of crash and bash there with Kelma Tuilangi. Ben Murdoch Masilla just leaves his man on the floor. Stompathon from Ben Murdoch Masilla. Tom oh. on the back of that, it's bruising. Oh. It's like please, shots being please. fired here. Last tackle. Into backfield for Sue Alihi. Just couldn't quite oh. stick a leg back into the in goal, but... What a magnificent set though. Brilliant. After scoring the try, what a magnificent set to turn the ball over 10 metres away from the opposition goal line. Oh, Tom, Tom Alolo's going hunting yeah. there for the big shot. Yeah, Six again. Six again. Tom Alolo, oh, he's biting Tonga here. That zeal. Jerome Luai needs to take this by the scuff of the neck. Car things down. Kama Tuilangi with a forthright carry. Equally forthright defence from his opposite number that time. And they are almost up to the 40. Sua. Three tackles left as well, Matt. Great set. Brilliant charge. Tuilangi again. Jason Stan. Sorry. Meters just being carved up. Probably he would have a footwork. Scrag that time. Oh, Lovely no. offload to Elangi. Milford trying to hit them on the edge now with Sua. Samoa just driving forward. He's on the late. Milford. Oh, it slipped through his fingers, did it? Still the last Score offload that time. Jerome Lua's got numbers. Oh, they bumped it. Drop that time in Lingi Sound. Yeah, opportunity. I think, you know, they thought he was going to put the, the ball in the air, so I didn't kind of read it. A great transition there, Tonga. As soon as they get the loose ball, they're looking to attack, but... Yeah. Uh, half chance missed. The only Katoa leading the charge from backfield here for Tonga. What a game this has been. The pendulum keeps swinging. So Daniel Tupo this time gets a shoulder in the midriff. Sonny Luke. 
Look to see where Tokiaho. Looking for an offload. Final minutes of this first half. Oh. They're lining each other up now. Last tackle here in the set for Tonga. Sonny Lu plays out of the back. Callum Atangi. Oh. Oh. What a hit on the net. Tyler May, like a missile. Had to come in. They created a quick play of the ball. They had numbers on the right hand side. Absolutely smashed. What a hit that is. Well, get a bit of that into you. We said if you were. Uh, if you read to jam in, you've got to come up with man and ball. I would suggest uh, that gentleman did. That's a winger on a big forward. I don't think they, they, these players kind of belie positions, don't they? They're just beasts. Huge human beings. Final moments of this first half here. Oh, what a contest we've got. What a quarter final this is. Pacific Islands putting on a show. Okay, a couple of minutes to go. Milford. Okay, oh, he's got a step in it. But he was uh, accounted for that time. Murdoch up Masella Atoki. Oh, a lovely pass. Oh, the likes of Depau. Papali opens up the taps a bit. Inside the 20, last tackle. Shamo wanted to finish with a flourish here. Levi to Luai. What a pass that is. Lafay with the flick. Oh, Tyler Bay. Oh, Tim Lafay. Denied. Well, we've seen him do that time after time at Salford, haven't we? But uh, referee Ashley Klein in perfect position there and ruled that the uh, the offload out of the back there from Tim Lafay went forward. Yeah, definitely forward. Yep. He's been doing that all year, hasn't he? Oh, he just didn't quite get the execution right. But just ask Joe Burgess. Yeah. He can pass out the back of his hand. Katoa. Shone Katoa had gone back early for the grubber kick and they had spare numbers on the left hand side. So, last minute of this first half, we've been royally entertained. There might not be a royal visitor in attendance, but we've got plenty of NRL royalty here. They have served up some fine rugby cuisine for us here. Sonny Luke with the kick over the top. Just looking to turn some around. There'll be no respite though. The ball in play in this first half is ridiculous. Constant, relentless rugby league from end to end. Yeah. Over here, Tyler May playing with fire in his belly. There's the hooter. Last act to the first half. What the first 40 we've seen. Well, that's been sensational, hasn't it? It has disappointed exactly what we expected. Two forward pass went at each other, hammered and tongue, and some great skill and execution from the backs. Yeah, we expected, you know, the. Ready, guys? So 40 minutes separating Samoa from a first ever World Cup semi final. But this Tonga team, who were there for their first time in 2017, will not want to relinquish their opportunity either a big first 40 to come or should i say second 40 to come 12 points to 10 what a first half we had this one promises to be equally as ferocious as the first oh, it was a sensational first half in all aspects of rugby league but uh, i'm certain that christian wolf in the tongan dressing room will have uh, been onto his players about cutting out the the headers some loose headers and i'm certain in, in the samoan changing room they'll be looking just for more of the same and to execute those uh, players once they're in the 20. Clubbing room for Pabalihi that time, Crichton. Trying to prize his way through the defence. Last one here for Samoa. Up goes Luai's kick. Stapling kick. Underneath it, Katoa took it. Good take. Stop the tackle from Lapai. Good set, though. The terra firma. Yes, Good great set. set. Great set for them. Start first set. Look where they end up. Uh, just a little bit too far with the kick. He took it quite comfortably. Yeah, I, you know, again, I'm sure that some more will attack the edges, try and move the big tongue and pack around. But there's still a lot to come off the bench, isn't it? There? there certainly is, yes. David Fafita, he may well be the ace of the sleeve. All will be revealed. Yeah. yeah Matt Parrish sat on the bench. His side of a narrow lead. 
You know that lead will be tested. Havili tried to offload, he didn't yeah. get it right. Again. Joy Lange comes up with it. Why is he trying to you know, get rid of the ball? There's no need for the three men in the tackle. Well, they were their own worst enemies in the first half, weren't they? And they repeated it in the Drew second half. Yeah. Back here, hold two out. Yeah. Three men in the tackle there, he's trying to get an offload. Luai. Now marching to Pau. Silver, get up. Two, one, got a hold. He's a big he's unit. And he was travelling to Pobali out the back. Milford dropped off to Sua. He got it wrong that time. Nice idea, not quite the execution. Yeah, poor communication there. But you can see, Jonathan, what they're trying to do is work that middle unit over once yep. again. There's yep. an inside ball to go back against the grain. But unfortunately for the Samoans, uh, it hit terra firma. Yeah, and as Tom Lolo said, you know, the inside defence was poor in the first half and allowed a couple of tries in. Daniel Tupo wrestling with Anthony oh Milford there. He retains possession. Off the back of that, there might be a bit of a spring here for Tonga. Here comes Kavusi. Oh, he's got the pass away to Suli. It was behind him. He was always reaching back. Just those bits of detail. Yeah. Just, just overrunning a little bit, didn't he? You know, I don't like criticising the wingers. But if he got to hold your line a little bit, because he had to break the tackle and then get his hands free. So you just got to hold your run a little bit and it's easier to run onto it. Luai missed pass out to Uzlapai. Samoa looking to pounce here. On the back of that error. Swung back in by May. Luai now onto Tapao. Big Ben from him. Running hard here, Martin Tapao. Samoa on the scrum lines in range. Luai, darting feet to Milford, now Kreitzer, no, no, look, pass, Toe, the Penrith connection, looking to post some points here, desperately clung on to that time, Tokiaho and Luke, Levi to Papalihi, taken down, just short, last tackle, big chance here for Samoa, Suwalihi, good hands, so trying to force his way over in the end to be fair top that scrambled well and brought that play to an end yeah good defense from uh, tonga but they're, they're bringing it on themselves aren't they once again they're inviting samoa to attack their goal line and they're putting themselves under pressure they need a good set you know tonga just to clear the line steady set nothing stupid put a boot to ball these two Polynesian nations have <laughs> had each other's territory over the years. And now they're playing out there, rivalries on a rugby league pitch. And every time they do, they've had four years in the waiting for this. Since the last time they met in Campbelltown. And they are relishing it. Being reunited. Lola here with a kick. Good kick. They'll be very happy with that, uh, Jonathan, won't they, the Tongan side, because it's, it's released that pressure valve, bought them some territory, but now they need to invest their energy in restricting Samoa. Right. Into centre field, they'll come. Lafayette is. Came off a building site to play for Samoa, uh, for Solfatori last season, and himself a recall after injuries within the squad. Let him up, Ben! Fairy tale story. All the way. Okay, Levi. Finds Crichton. Oh, that was a direct Let carry, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, they're picking out the 14 for Tonga. They yeah. really are. It's only Luke. Yeah, he'll have sore shoulders, won't he? It's Suley only Luke. runs into uh, Lola here that time. You have the halfbacks, the pivots, the schemers are the ones who are getting targeted. Luai, miss pass, Lafayette with the kick. Fielded at the back that time, and what a breakout this could be here! Will Hopuate couldn't slip the cover tackle in the end, but what a kick return. Yeah, well, I, th I think he called Jerome Luai offside, yeah, didn't he? he and, did, uh, he did. And he responded to the referee's call, and that uh, that allowed Hopuate to get those easy yards. For features on, Tupo thumps into contact, Tokyo keeps it alive, Moses Suli. They're pushing the pass, aren't they? Yeah, they don't want to get spooked by the scoreboard. Pop Wadi's looking in a bit of strife at the moment. Well, he's found it difficult all season to get on the field regularly for St. Helens, yeah. hasn't yeah. it? Set restart here for Tonga. 
bit of moan up a Silla. That's a leg up. That's a settler. Come on, let go, Josh. Look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right your way. So, Sonny Luke into Kotoa. Hello, I'm a tangy. Fafita's on as well now, watch out. He's lurking, isn't he? He wants it. He's winding up for this one. He'll go inside to, uh, to Tokiaho instead. Samoa so being stretched here. Luke stuck in the tackle. Katoa. Oh, great well, tackle. He was almost in the line there, wasn't great, he? Milford. Great tackle, though. He's played really well, Milford, hasn't yes. he? He's almost pumping himself up with every challenge. Pepita gets the pass away. Penasini. Awful lot for it. Katoa to do penalty. Yeah. He yeah, had your own eye offside. Well, that, that's an indication of, of their wariness of David Fafita. He was straight off the line. There he goes. Look. He's having another dig, isn't he? Samoa put the bodies in the line. In the way. Roadblock. Hobawate. Want to call him a tangy. Danny Shredding Danny out Danny meters. Jayden, Jayden, Luke has a peak. It's a Tokiaho. Now Katoa. Ball in all tackles. It's offside. Is that again? Again, ping for getting off the line. Too sharp. They really are, yes. Yeah, and Murder Masilla's just taking exception to uh, a little bit of the action. It'll be interesting to see, though, uh, Jiffy, after this, whether they go for the two points to tie the score. Or they just keep rolling on because Samoa have been under intense pressure the last few minutes. Yeah, I think they'll go out there, just they tap and go, I think. Nearly 50 minutes uh, before the first flash point. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, they've got those top of the fans behind the post, here we go. That's the shot it's good hit from Milford. Now they're going for goal. Yeah. Isaiah! Christian Wolf stony faced. But his side have the chance to square okay. things up here. What a cracking game this is. Yeah, brilliant game. Absolutely caught it is. This. And uh, England will be rubbing their hands, you know, because uh, this will take some energy out of whichever team gets through. Yeah, the Emirates Stadium lies in wait for one of these teams, as do England. Anthony Milford. Not missed a tackle yet. And he's been bending his back all afternoon, it's fair to say. The tower just trying to clear the old airways before he boots this one. He's taking the fair way back, yes. Yes, I agree with you. I see why you took yeah. it that far back. <laughs> So both sets of players just taking in a, a good a good lungful after what's been a really frantic start to the second half. Well, I hate to tell them, but they've another 30 minutes of this. <laughs> yeah, no respite, lads. This is uh, merely a mini break. Katoa taking his time, as is his want. So Isaiah Katoa, Penrith Jr., who will Head to the Dolphins in 2023. A bright future in the game, most likely. Has the chance to square things up here. The rain has subsided at the Halliwell Jones. The kick is good. 12 points apiece. Half an hour to go. And so we start again. Well, we thought it was going to be a close game, didn't we? They both started off quite slowly in the tournament, and now this game, they've certainly come alive. Building up as they go through the tournament, to the big semi-final against England on Saturday for the winner. And the Warrington public have really come out in force, a proper rugby league town that has respected the just how important this game is, just how exciting and entertaining Brandy this game Moon. will be and they have voted with their feet Max here Kilmer. this afternoon yeah. strong crowd great rugby league area isn't it you know you've got witness warrington good supporters both clubs you had to say that though didn't you no, it's, tr it's true though he hunted down in the pubs <laughs> milford once again leading the line and yeah he's played really well he's played excellent luke 
On to uh, Kokiaho. Slamming it in. Luke moves it on. Kaloa Matangi again. He's uh, it's like a tank. He just keeps coming. The yard is up there, Nick. It's just so. They churn up the yards. You know, maybe line speed is questionable, but. So Lola here with the kick. End over end into the corner. Also, oh. he allowed it to bounce. Oh. He was well. dicing there. It was because there was a chase from the winger, wasn't there? And could have bounced anywhere, John. It could. And then all of a sudden it becomes 50-50, but uh, fortunately for Soelahi... I tell you, it's a good kick because if he catches that, right, there's yep. someone's up running, he's bowled into touch. So I took the chance and it came off for him. So Samoa will have to play out from their own end and it's Junior Paolo. All square here. Place in the semi-finals up for grabs to take on England at the Emirates Stadium in London. Home ground of Arsenal Football Club. An elite stadium for an elite game. Oh, Samoa throwing the offloads here. Well, was, 20 out for their own line. It was very effective in the first half, but the work quite as risky as that. Fafita and Murdoch Masella hunting that time. That's, this is the best defensive yep. set by either side so far, clearly. Just see a little bit of an arm wrestle, just going Tonga's way at the moment. Luai, and the back to Milford, oh he's got a bit of speed about him. Yeah, he wanted to hit the edges then, he won't get in any yardage in the middle. But what about, what about the kick pressure here because it's on the sideline? Yeah. Luai, it will come down on the 30, Hopawate patched it. And that's, that's the reward, Matt, for that investment in energy defensively and also Samoa having to kick from a sideline. Now they'll try and open up the field, perhaps. Trupo. Hopwart, he's definitely looking, he's struggling. Yeah, he's going off now. Luke into space, spins the pass for Kuku for Kufusi. And he will shudder his way forward. Oh, what we're we play back for here. Obstruction call, is yeah. it? Yeah, around the back of the play, I believe. Now, does just, just Samoa go for two, Jonathan? Or do they put it in the corner after no, he's being under the cosh for so long? He's in front of the play of the ball when he when he was played, yeah. so it's a penalty that he can't play on. Let's just have a look. See where he is. Number 11 there. What? I thought that was a bit harsh on reflection. <laughs> he, he didn't actually play the ball, did he? On, on, on that angle. It, that was an offload. Yep. Maybe think, it would have been the previous sorry. one. Sorry. Must have been the previous play of the ball. So that was definitely an offload. Well, thankfully the players have just said we'll get on with the yeah, game. Respect the referee, yeah, yeah. good. Kamatu Ilangi. Never seen a referee change his mind yet. <laughs> Except for the TMO. Setting themselves a point here. Paolo Pabalihi. Oh, it's the ballast that is being unfurled here. Levi. Now Luai. Skillsters. Speedsters. Ball through for Milford, well taken by Katoa, sent behind his own dead ball line, it'll be a drop out. And Samoa really pushing the the envelope here. And that is, you know, they are building as a as a half-back pair now, look at this. Good communication, keeps the pressure on, get the ball back. Time for Tonga to sweat. Under their own posts, drop out to come. Samoa squeezing. Levi takes the pass. Brian Toto will come in off this right side. And it's those legs that drive and backing in. He's got his side a penalty as well. Got to take the two points. The adventurer surely would say have a, a dig at the line. I think the uh, the game management says take the kick the, at the, the post. The pragmatist. Yeah. Yes. Well, you know, in any quarter final, oh. all you, all the intention is is to end the semi final. If you win by one point out of 101, you're just in the semi final. So, uh, no matter how you keep that uh, scoreboard ticking over, keep it ticking over. Christian Wolf barking into his uh, little microphone there. Stephen Crichton. He's got the T. I think he wants some refreshment first. 
Well, that kind of game. It's interesting, both kickers who've taken penalties this uh, half, Jonathan. They really are taking the full minute, aren't they? They're just to get some they oxygen are. back into the lungs. It's an intense battle in the middle. So Stephen Crichton, having taken a breather, will have a bang at, at goal from here. Taking his scrum cap off as well, as many kickers do. This just to edge. So Samoa back in front again. There's a pensive, anticipant crowd here at Warrington. Waiting for this one to go. Clock's back on. And Stephen Crichton edges Samoa back in front. It might well be a nip and took a bear this one. It's going to be very tight. But I believe, uh, Jonathan, I mean, it's, a, it's a great kick, isn't it? You know, on, under that pressure. Uh, but I certainly believe there's uh, at least a try or two more to come because uh, there's bound definite. to be some fatigue uh, set in with the effort that both sides have put into this game. A grudge match for the Pacific Islands. Swanga Samoa always brings with it ferocity and intensity, and we have not lacked for any. And it's just two points in it. Samoa off the kickoff. We're going to build from deep here. Josh Papalihi. What a talisman he is. Barrel chested prop. Come oh. to Ilangi, who's also finds himself on the receiving end of a couple of razor sharp shoulders. So Ali. He runs. Oh, he ran at Sonny Luke yeah. and he's away. Here comes Joseph Suwalihi. Oh, he's taken down by Katoa, but he's given Samoa such a platform here. Yeah, they've really picked Luke out, haven't they? And it worked out that time, but... Uh... Last tackle. Milford sends up the kick. Crichton came to chase for it. It will fall to Brian Toho. And Brian Toho pops it down. A score, perhaps, for Samoa. And it's confirmed by Ashley Klein. Well, the kick was missed. Brian Toho had the easiest of finishes. And Samoa stretch out their lead. Well, so Ali, he just runs like a, like a back row forward. He pops up all the time, you know, takes it first man. What a run this is, there he is again, you picked him out. Luke runs over the top of him again, he just goes. Just such a powerful runner, keeps on going, keeps on going. They haven't got time to get back. But this next play is almost in slow motion, it does, Jonathan, yeah. isn't it? You know, the bog's over the top, it looks like, well, we've solved that. Yeah. Well, you haven't. Well, they, yeah, the two blockers went to look after the guy who's catching the ball. Unfortunately, Tubo wasn't in the position to catch. Just watch. He's, they're not sure. They don't communicate. Tupu doesn't come for it. The blockers stay there. The ball bounces and then Toho's through, you know. Big, big couple of minutes for Samoa. Very much so. And this kick, this is absolutely vital. Takes it out yeah. to eight points, two scores. Really will put pressure on... Uh, the Tongan team for the last quarter of the game. Yeah, cometh the hour, cometh the man, Brian Toto. And a kick from Stephen Crichton to open up a two score lead here. And the Samoa players just waiting. The Warrington public have been treated to glorious rugby league here so far. Crichton, composing himself, drills it through, emphatic kick, eight points the lead. Samoa really putting their hand up in this quarter final. Well, there he is, they both block, Tupus doesn't get under it, poor communication for me, 
ball just rolls along to an easy try for Togo. And now the next score is very, very important. Even this early in the game. Well, Tonga have caught for the cavalry. Adam Fanua Blake back on. Lola Hare goes long with the kick. Toto will field it. Paolo will come off the back fence. Oh, it was bulldozing stuff. Well, for, well for me, Matt, it's Samoa's to lose now. Yeah, it really is. Well, they've got, they've got the A team on now, haven't they? You know, they got the feet there. Tomalolu's on together. Two of their big, big ball carriers. But Samoa really, really got their tails up now. Yeah, Royce stretching every sinew to look to blast his way through. Danny Levi picks off the back of that. Great set again. Great set here. Big momentum here from Samoa. Papali. Oh, was he clobbered high by Kafusi? Yes, he was. So, penalty goes Samoa's way. Eight points to the ball game, Kyle Amor, what have we spotted? Yeah, look, Matt, Jiffy's mentioned there about Tonga bringing the A game back out, but what about Samoa as well? They've just reintroduced Royce Hunt as well, alongside Papa Lee, who's just won that penalty, and added into that Junior Paul, who's terrific in, the, in his first in, 30 metres played, 110 metres with the ball, those three back on the field. I expect this to be a strong finish from Samoa. Kyle Amor down, that pitch now, we'll hear from him throughout. So it's a tap from Crichton. Big set for Tonga this. Yep. Under real duress now as Jaden Sewer. They are so close to stretching out here. Royce Hunt. He has brought the noise off the bench here. Having started the game, he's back on. Suwalihi. Oh, they're in. Oh, maybe. What a shot that was. Back to zero. Yeah, back to zero. Luai. Has he seen the cocked arm of Ashley Klein? Here comes Paulo. I thought it was a great selection, wasn't it, from the Samoan coach, Parish? You know, to put. What's his name? Him on first, you know, the one you just. Royce Hunt, yeah. Royce, yeah. So he yes. come on first, he said, you know, he, he deserved or he's lost. Oh, Nana, yes. They've lost it there. Royce. It's definitely going off here. Kafusi and Sua. Well, it's. <laughs> This is a test match. This is a rivalry. This is what it means. But the, it's the last thing Samoa, Samoa just need this to continue set for set. It's it's Tonga that need the, the inspiration, whether it's from a, a, a dust yeah. up or whatever. It's them that need the inspiration. I told you, Roy Center has been brilliant, hasn't he? And then coming off, coming off the bench, Papa Lee, he has been good with the offloads as well, running at tired defenders. Good selection. Shoulders rattling in, Crichton, you can always hear the thud of bone on bone and muscle on muscle, set restart. As Moses Suli coming out of backfield here. Still plenty Avili. of time though, still plenty of time for Tonga. And if it Blake, pounding away on this summer line that time. Eight points in it, Habili, Kaloma Matangi. Yeah, right. Making those runs, Junior. making incisions. Lola here to Tamalolo. Captain's knock here, maybe. What a carry that is. That's that what is, you do. That is a captain's knock, that. No, no, still up right. right into the teeth. Havili onto Fotoaika. Now they're in their range. Center field. Lola here. Away he goes. Kick into the end goal. It will be taken behind the line. Samoa. Safety first there from Tyler Mate. It, and the correct decision, but what a set that was. And it was all on the back of uh, Jason Tamalola, wasn't it? What a carry that was. And it's allowed uh, Lola here on the last play just to dab it into the end goal and get a repeat set to build some pressure. Rain hammering down here at the Halliwell Jones. It won't dampen Samoa's optimism. And it won't, certainly won't dampen those Tonga fans' optimism. I think it could be 100 nil and they'd still be cheering. It's not though. What's your Aika? Well, there was a gasp from the crowd there, wasn't there? <laughs> Thunderous. And if it were Blake, oh, he just pumped his man, Jaden Sue, at that time. Stampede here from those in red. 
Oh, it looks a little bit aimless there, though. They seem to lose a bit of shape. But they are in position. What you like at that time? Tamalola winding up for something here. Short ball to Fanua Blake. So close. Samoa on red alert here. Havili, Tamalolo. Great tackle. Last tackle, get up, boys. Just said, I'm a roadblock here, you're not coming past. Now Lola here. Oh, it's been charged down. Chance, chance. Oh, the Milf is away, Anthony Milford. Sprinted clear. Oh. Couldn't get the pass out, yeah, no, but yeah. he's taken the tackle. Back here. Back here. Yeah, that last play from Lola here, if he played it and came up with came up Trump, Sid Milford. No full back at home here. Tim Lafay. Has some hours. Saunter forward, but uh, he does really well there, Milford, doesn't he? he does. Tries to dab it through, he plays it his left foot, regathers. You, you can see the belief coursing through this Samoan team's uh, veins now. They really fancy this. Yeah. Danny Levi playing off the back of monstrous carries, quick rooks, properly here that time. Into Levi, to Paolo, Luai, oh what a line, oh back against the crane Lingi Sao, but he was melting. Yeah, have that. Back to Luai, sends up the kick, trying to make this a contest, patted down Crichton, pass out to Tom. Oh, so it's the goalkeeper's block there, down in the corner by Daniel Tupo. It's a great battle, those two. It's a fantastic game, Tup isn't it? Oh, a brilliant game. Jayla, move right. Got to hold right here. In again, Toho there. I think he thought all his Christmas had come at once then. But, oh, uh, Milford's hurt there. Right. Yeah, he's limping. He's still got it. Yeah, really. Funny adding for new yeah. Blake. Twisting his way through the tackles. Move now, on, in the legs. My Paulo, is he? Gets to his feet gingerly. Tomalolo. Wrecking ball stuff from him. Smoke coping with it well. Last tackle really limited the yardage here. Back 10, Josh. Havili with the kick. Has he overcooked that one? No. No, what a bounce. What a bounce he got in the head to Ali. He was like, he please comes. go over the dead ball line. But what a carry that is as well. Let's <laughs> say he's got kick return meters for fun. Anthony had a play. And that's why. That's all Samoa got to do now is just get the ball and get it out and finish a set, get a good kick on. They don't need to do anything stupid or anything loose, no offloads. Force Tonga to come and do the, the offloads. Jason, let go! So Luai, as Crichton should have said in that one, Luai lurking out the back, but Oregon Kafusi scratched as he was almost away, last tackle. Now Milford, he's going to run it here, Anthony Milford. Now he puts the kick in. But it's making Tonga play out for their own end and the kick chase is just as good. Just what they have to do. Jason, move! Yeah, we're seeing the value of having proper generals, aren't you? in terms of your halfbacks. Oh, Milford and Uai today have been very, Tremendous. very good. Yeah. Both sides have the pack. Him, you're him. But it's about the brains, trust behind it. And at the moment, the Samoans are winning that battle. Yeah, both packs have done exceptionally well against each other. But it's just at the moment, Samoan halfbacks have just made the difference for me. Follow that time with a rattler. Fotowaika, <laughs> just straight up the guts of this yeah. Samoa defence that time. There's that Kolo Amatangi with a kick. And that's the difference the for me, that's the difference for me. And uh, May and Suali almost got in a pickle there. And Taylor oh. May has just about kept himself in the field of play. That was important, that was really important that. Because as uh, Jonathan said, all, all Samoa needs to do is keep carting it forward, complete the set, end well, and, and then it, front up in D, and, and it, uh, the game's theirs. I think early in the tackle that's count, Lola Haya is standing so shallow, uh, you know, there's so much space behind now for a little kick through for Samoa. Here we go, 20 metres away. Samoa have a couple of tackles left in the bank here. Luai. Turn back on the inside for Kafusi. He's been good as well. Right away, 
motoring. Samoa wanting to put this game a little further away. Levi, lovely late offload there. Testing the old middle players again. Last tackle here for Samoa. Milford, Luai. Oh, the grubber kick was posted through. Oh, the foot race is on here. And Kaloha Matangi just didn't have the gas, but right place, right time for Tonga. Six again. Set restart. Picking up the back of that. Moses Suli has got the gas. What a pass. Katoa. Saw Sione Katoa. They've got strike from anywhere. And they just have Tonga back in the game. Sione Katoa. But what a break that was, Moses Suli. What a difference. You know, one poor kick into the legs on a switch from defence into attack. What a brilliant, brilliant counter-attack try that is. Well, the, tra the transition, Jonathan, is tremendous, isn't it? There we've got Phil in the kick, and Colum Tang and Yui hadn't got the legs, but just look at them then. Pour forward. They've what? got Samoa on the back foot, they're just pouring forward with support. And there he is, on the shoulder, and there's the post, and it's straight underneath them. That's a brilliant, brilliant try. Absolutely brilliant try. Good support play as well. Sione Katoa, great support play. Came off his wing, saw the opportunity. Two great forward bursts. There is no game on. Precious, precious score for this Tonga team who just fell. The game is creeping away from them. So eight and a bit minutes to go. Katoa's good with the kick. Two-point ball game. What a climax we're going to have to this quarter-final. What a game. What a game we've had. It's had absolutely everything. What a game. What a run. You know, there's been some great skill. There's been some great toughness up front. And there's been from both sides, Jonathan, just a sheer desire to win. And uh, it's just great to see such competition. This is it. Samoa still two points in front and the right minutes to go. Yes. It's, well, it's anyone's game, but you'd rather be two points up. Well, one team's going over the Emirates for next week, one team's going home. Who's got the uh, the will? Yeah. There's no time for second chances. Seven oh. and a half to go. Rain teaming down here, but it will not dampen the spirits, it will not quell. This Let's remarkable quarter-final here. The Emirates lies in wait. Defeat at that time. Crunching forward. Harvili waits for that in half. Will Tonga get the momentum in this game? Will it take them close? Hey, Tonga did it against Papua New Guinea, didn't he? They did. Oh. Samoa never been to a World Cup semi-final. I'll tell you, he's been tremendous, hasn't he? Has. Back 10, Junior. Yep, there are a few players on both sides that don't deserve to be a loser. One of them will, one side will have to be. I'll have to get your thoughts on your player of the match very shortly for both of you. A combined decision. Good luck. I know. <laughs> Especially with the game in the balance as it is. Two points in it. Perhaps the, the, the semi finals up for grabs here. Matt, perhaps the man of the match is still to be revealed. Out of the way, Junior! One piece of magic. Oh. Yep, there's a game breaker lying in wait, I'm sure. Six and a half to go. Milford to May. This time, Lafay takes the tackle. Tonga have found extra spirit, haven't they, in this? Buoyed by that score. And the ebb and flow of this wonderful game Last of brawn and beauty. Jason Stray, out of the way. Yeah, over the sideline now, Vic near. Milford will send the kick downfield. Of uh, air time underneath it, Tupo. That's a good chase, that from Samoa. Yeah, look at the Tongan forwards walking yeah. back you now. Fatigue is setting in. Katoa, do I? I oh, should say lower here onto Katoa. He's certainly got plenty of energy left. Lola here. Great Sahabili. support. Oregon, let go. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Lola here drops it up. Rafita. Still got tackles left in the back here, haven't they? No, yeah. Absolutely marching up the field. Oh, Lola here spilled it. Took his eyes off the ball and yep. saw the man. Crichton was coming in again. Great spot by Crichton. He's had a strong game, hasn't he? Has. He has. Well, what a spot that is. Realise who the ball player was. Oh. So, just under five to play. What's that Tonga's chance? They're up and at them again here. Chanel Harris. Tavita's had to be patient. He's on now for some hour. Oh! So came Colin Matagi, came under for Sal. He's still going in. Milford. Came off second best there, he did. Absolutely came off second best. Papa Lee will play it. Harris Tavita skips one way, swings back the other, and here comes Junior Paolo. Samoa have the lead by just two points. Yeah. Chanel Harris Tavita. Now Milford. One try would kill this off. Samoa with the hands. Great scramble from Tonga. Still going. He takes some putting down, this mate. Big last play, this one. Luai. Oh, we've thought back to the short side. Luai with the feet. Might just take it by the scruff of the neck. Kick it to the end goal. Oh, take it away, Motawaika. Great kick. Great play from Luai, wasn't it? Brilliant play, that's it. Broken broken field, right? He is just fantastic, isn't he? Well, he spotted the short side. They just switched off, hadn't they? Yeah. So he went back at them. And there's a manufactured kick for the uh, the last play that Fafid had to oh, put over there. Oh, look at that. He came off second best there, didn't he? Yeah. Kolomotangi, and he was injured for a bit. I thought Luai was going towards him. I'm police! Chanel Harris-Tavita. Hold here. And Samoa... Looking to apply the final blow, perhaps here. And again, police. Moses, wait here. Adam they are right. Right. Go. in range again. Suilihi tried to take it upon himself oh, to guide Samoa to those semi finals. Wants it to play it again. Harris Tavita, back Pabalihi. Milford ran himself down a cul de sac. It's almost a surrender tackle. Yeah, I thought he was going to go. He could get pulled for obstruction. So he just offloaded. Probably he went down. Milford back to Paulo. Oh. Paulo pumps one off. Paulo so, driving for the line. It's not very often you see that. Tomololo put on his, on his backside. Clock's been stopped. Right, well, we've got a break in play. Perfect time to get your player of the match, gentlemen. Well, it's just been brilliant, you know, Ian. Swalili's been fantastic. luai has been fantastic. But the guy for me who's pulled all the strings, and John, is Anthony Milford. I think he's been brilliant. You know, he's, his yardage is ridiculous. He's got 116. He's got 26 tackles, 19 carries. And organised the team. Organised the team. And, and de defensively, he's been superb as well. And that's why Luai's, you know, been able to play well as well, because he is organised, got a kicking game in. But it could have been anyone from those three, to be honest. So Anthony Milford gets the Kazoo Player of the Match award. And uh, is that a penalty oh. that Ashley Klein's calling for here yeah. for Tonga? Or oh, the carry there. So Anthony Milford, there he is, Kazoo Player of the Match. I tell you what, this is not finished yet. <laughs> this is not finished yet. Two point in it. Tonga go for touch off the penalty. Composure needed. Big finish needed. Samoa have a foot in the semi finals at the Emirates. But Tonga want to snatch it away from them late on here. They were denied in Auckland in 2017. In the very last minute. Yeah, they go. Can't be a second time unlucky again for them. Kafusi. It's all a bit lateral that time. But they will come again here. Habili. Out in for Nua Blake. Slugging it out. On this Samoa defensive line. Plenty of shape on that right hand side. Tomalolo. Lolahea. Squeeze the pass out. They're away down that short side. Tonga. Oh. Oh. Last tackle. 
defied by Samoa again. Well, the semi finals on this. There's one player, the semi finals on this. Peeled off the turf. Christian Wolf can guess the oh, six again. No, what a call that is. Star here. Penicini hits the huge deck. call. He'll play it inside the 10. Just over a minute to go. Tonga can't panic, but they also can't mess about here. No, that's a huge call that is. Samalolo. Oh, it's just like Auckland 2017. Short ball for Fotuaika. Samoa. Squeezing every last drop of energy out. Tonga likewise here. Jansson, Jansson. Way to that short side call of a tangy. Folded up that time. Lola here. Rolls the kick. Bounces back to Lola here. Julian Paulo's come over the ball. And that's it. That is it. Up your jumper. Christian Wolf side. Yeah. We're going to miss out here. Slow play the ball, just make sure you don't get the ball stolen, that's all. That's it, you're one on one, you can steal. Get up. Chanel Harris Tavita plays it. It's going to be one out. Slow as you like, carries from Samoa. Inside the final 10 seconds then. Never been to a World Cup final before, a semi final before. Samoa are there in 2022, the 2021 Rugby League World Cup. They have upset the form book. Tonga are out. Samoa march on. Matt Parrish's side will play England at the Emirates and next fully, Saturday. And they will, be a, they will be a different proposition, won't they? From you know the first game they have built on through the tournament. Yeah, and I think they thoroughly deserved it is with the combination halfback was a difference. They controlled the game. What a brutal, brutal encounter. But I just felt some more deserved it. Absolutely fantastic game of rugby league. Well, if it was a painting on a canvas, you've seen the brutality, but you've also seen the finesse. It's been an absolutely sensational game. Two teams totally committed. And at the end, they're both out on the feet. But Samoa just had enough. What a great game of rugby league. Every sinew, every lung full of uh, oxygen, every kilojoule of energy has been burned by these two teams and it's Samoa who just came out on top by two points here. Samoa heading for the semi-finals for the first time in their history. Tonga 18, Samoa 20.